Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shawcraft One and my old barn door, and I just came to do um, a quick flip through through some of the little golden books that <clears throat> I had shown you guys on, um, I think my last little video that wasn't a live video. Um, and I had shown you guys some books that I had available. And so I had several people who contacted me and wanted me to make them a book. So um, these are all spoken for. I am working on some more, though, that should be available. Um, once I get those finished, I'll do a video on those. But anyways, I just wanted to do a quick flip through of these so that the ladies who bought them, they can kind of get a sneak peek of them if they want to. Or they don't have to look if they want to be surprised. So... Um, but I, you know, just kind of wanted to have a record of it. So I'm going to do this pretty fast because I don't want this video to take forever. So we'll just start with this one. It's called The Little Black Puppy. Love, love, love this book. And I just put a hitch post fastener. There's the spine. The super cute little buttons. And it had to have a puppy button. So... And then the back I just left plain. I stinking love this little golden book because I've never seen one like it. And if I was a journaler, this would have been the one that I would have kept. <laughs> but since I don't journal, I just make them and send them out with lots of love. So um, we're just going to do a quick flip through. Um, I never, or I usually try not to cover this up. So I'm just going to flip, guys. I did a lot of little clusters that are um, kind of in the farmhouse style because these are all farmhouse style journals. So you get the fabric clusters as well that I do. Um, Rita Donnelly flip here with a few tags and some extra um, journaling space. Edith Holden, another cluster. Love, love, love the mix of papers that are in this book. Um, this has a guest check and a little inventory sheet. And then a sweet cream cow. Love the cows. Another cluster. Really, really old book page from uh, my friend Dina, a book she sent me. These pictures are so stinking cute in this book. Oops, my glue stuck a little bit. Dick and Jane pocket, or actually this is a Jerry and Alice pocket. And then this is just an index card. This is a cute, cute little poem about a cow. And then a little card there. Another cluster. This is from an old Sears book that I bought from Gail. Music, vintage children's music. And again, I don't like the white pages, because so I try to put at least some type of little decoration if it's a white page. Here's a fabric flip or a collage and flip. So it just flips up like that. Children's writing paper. This is a Hermelinda tag. And I just have it paper clipped on. This is the center of the first signature. Each book, of course, is two signatures. These are just like my regular little golden books. I just did them in a farmhouse style. Love, love, love. This is some of my seven gypsies. Uh, and so is this. Uh, so I have this paper in my shop if you guys are interested. This I found on Pinterest, both of these. And then this is a little recipe card um, that Selena sent me. Ch vintage children's music. Here's the other side of that Sears catalog. This is a Hermelinda tag, and this is just more journaling space back behind here. More cluster. Um, this is some of my Seven Gypsy stuff, too. So you'll be able to find all of that Seven Gypsy stuff in my shop. If you don't see it in there, you can send me a message and I can get it for you. Love, love, love this pocket. I thought it went super cute with this time frame. And then I just put a little envelope and a couple of journaling cards in there. Um, 
that's a bigger version of that cow poem from the front. And then I got you several little playing cards and a scripture card in there. Edith Holden, children's writing paper. This is just an empty envelope made out of children's book page. That's from a child craft book. This is the beginning of the second signature. I love, love, love the pictures in this book. They are so super cute. Here's another fabric flip. This is just a little memo sheet, but it had the little pig, so I thought it was cute to go with the farm theme. Edith Holden. Matt Page. A couple of journaling cards. I'm not going to pull everything out of the pockets just for time's sake for the video. Just trying to do real quick flip throughs so that I can have a record of these books. Here's one of my scrappy tags. I haven't made those in a long time. Kind of puts me in the mood to make some. And a bingo card. Center the signature. This is just, it's not a flip. But I love the bees to go with the farm thing. And then it's just got a couple of little journaling cards in there. Another one of the clusters. Got to have Charlie Brown. I love this sign. This is, um, I have this paper in my shop as well. Uh, the Seven Gypsies paper. It's a single sheet paper, or it comes as a single sheet paper in my shop. So it has all of, um, I think it has these on the back of it, but I'm not positive. Let me see. No, it has flowers and stuff, like barnwood-looking flowers on the back of it. This is another Rita Flip. Oh, it glued. Dog on it. It's okay, though. It's not bad. Edith Holden. A couple of tags in there. Some farm-style tags in here. The pig, the cow, and the crow. And that is the end of the little black puppy. I would say it's my favorite, but they're all my favorite because I love each one of them. So, all right, so we'll go to Old McDonald Had a Farm. And I just put a little pack of the goodies in there as a thank you gift to the ladies who purchased them. So, love this at the little boy at the rodeo. Some more of the fabric swatches. This is from my Seven Gypsy stuff. And this is actually from the cover page. <laughs> I use everything. This is a pocket here. And then a pocket here with the little cow. One of my scrappy tags. And some extra journal paper. Child craft book. This is from Seven Gypsies. This is from Seven Gypsies. This is a Jerry and Alice pocket. So all of the Seven Gypsy stuff that you're seeing, you should be able to find it in my shop. This is actually a cover from a workbook that I used all the papers inside the workbook. So I used the cover too. Seven Gypsies. Little pocket with the chicken and a scripture. Children's music, center of the signature, this is from the Seven Gypsy stuff, and then I just got a couple of little tags and some extra pieces of journaling paper in there. Love that. Super cute. There's the fabric flip with the collage at the top. I 
I love that. Here's a Rita flip and one of the little scrappy tags that I do and some chickens and a cow. That's from Seven Gypsies. There's the other side of that rodeo calendar page. That's the end of the first signature. This is from an old vintage book that my friend Dina sent me. I thought it went cute with the farmhouse theme. This is just a big large pocket and I just put a little envelope um, and a couple extra sheets for journaling in there. These are from Seven Gypsies. Just uh, a little rooster and a couple of little tags. And Selena sent me this super cute ribbon. This is from the Seven Gypsy stuff in my shop. One of my scrappy tags. Love, love, love these roosters. And that's a little scripture. I think that's from the Seven Gypsy stuff. Bingo card, extra journaling, and then this is one of the Jerry and Alice pockets. This is from the Sears catalog, old Sears catalog, old children's book page, maps, old children's music. This is a, just a belly band. and This is a super cute poem. Y'all have to read it. That's from my Seven Gypsy stuff in my shop. This was an old vintage book, children's book. This little old McDonald had a farm book. It's so adorable. These are, uh, I just printed this off Pinterest. This is um, some of my Seven Gypsies stuff as well. And then a little journal card back there. This is a Rita flip that I glued together. I'm so bad about gluing these together because I get in a hurry I'm trying to get it done. <laughs> and they just slow down. There's just a little um, banner tuck with a little boy blue. Super cute. There's a um, just an envelope. It's empty from Children's Book Page. And that is the end of that one. Moving on along now to the pokey little puppy. Oh, I meant to show you the buttons and the spine on the old McDonald had a farm. Super cute with the chickens. And then this is the spine of this one. I did the little children playing on their wooden horses and tricycles with the buttons. that folded down. Let's see if I can flatten it. There we go. Love that from a that vintage book Dana sent me. This is just like a floating pocket. I just put it in there for her to have a little extra pocket if she so she can put it anywhere in the book she wants. And this is one of my decorated paper clips. One of those pig memo pads. Cluster. Read a flip with a cow and coffee dot index card there's the pig pure hog lard for better cooking tell you what people didn't get nearly as sick when they used the lard they preach on how bad it is for you but you don't know people who ate that stuff back then they lived to be in their hundreds so who's wrong Bingo and some journaling and an index card. There's an um, old calendar. Children's music. There's the center of the signature. I'm sorry I'm going so fast. I'm just trying to get everything in here without it being a two hour long video. 
That's uh, from my Seven Gypsy stuff in my shop. There's the other side of the calendar. Um, Jerry and Alice page. It's got uh, a little notebook in there that I made and some playing cards and just some ephemera. Some ephemera, journaling, and an index card. Love these. I love this book. It's one of my... Uh, from my, the bug book that I have, but it also has squirrels and bunnies and stuff in it too. That's from Seven Gypsy Stuff in my shop. That's from Seven Gypsies. I'm getting hurry and get glue everywhere. And then I stick my pages together. There's just a little journaling card with the cows on it. That's printed in there. How funny is that? There must have been something on my printer deck when I printed that. And then this can be used as a pocket. So can this. It's the end of the first signature. This can be used as a pocket. This is from seven, the Seven Gypsy stuff in my shop. There is a uh, envelope from Children's Book Page. I love the rooster. Here's the fabric flip in this one. And it's got a little collage at the top. Love, love, love this paper. This just has a little journaling card with chickens and cows and an index card in there. Love that. This can be a tuck if you want. Sears and Roebuck catalog. This is a Rita flip and I've probably glued it down too because I'm so bad about it. <laughs> Lord of mercy. And then a couple of little extra journaling cards there. This can be used as a tuck. And then you have the little cow bingo card and some extra journaling area. I just made a little paper clip with the little chickens on it. Children's music paper. That's the center of the signature. I'm trying to see where I'm at on my time, but I can't tell. This you can use as a tuck. This is uh, some of my Seven Gypsy stuff in my shop. There is just a pocket with some extra little journaling stuff in it. There's the, the cow poem in this book. <coughs> oh, excuse me. There's a, a little tag with chickens, and this is actually from my Seven Gypsy stuff in my shop. There's the crow tag, index card, and another little journaling card. Sears, Sears page. There's this is from my Seven Gypsy stuff in my shop. This is from my Seven Gypsy stuff, and I just used it as like a little tuck and put an index card in there. A little um, craft color tag, and then I love, love, love the colors in that one. Super cute. I love these tags too, and a guest check, and then there's the farmer's market with the cow on it. This is from my Seven Gypsy stuff. This can be used as a tuck. I just made little clusters out of the little pieces on the Seven Gypsies. Seven Gypsies. Yeah, I said that right. <laughs> Pages. And that is the end of the Pokey Little Puppy. And then the last one is a little bit different because it's not a little golden book. Um, I had run out of the kind of, you know, little golden books that I could use for farm style. So she picked this one. So, um... And she paid a little more for this one, so I put some frillies and stuff in for her. There's the spine with the cute, look at the cute little chicken button. Super cute. So, this is her thank you gift. I put a little library pocket on the front with the card here. And then 
a library card and a little mason jar in that front little pocket with the um, fabric on it with the chickens. I love this book. I absolutely love this book. It is super adorable. This is just a full page pocket and it has and then I have extra a lot of extra paper that I use throughout the book um, that I put in there for her to use to decorate with. Okay, that's from one of my seven gypsies in my shop. That's Edith Holden. This can be used as a tuck. There's some of the fabric ruffle. This is from seven the seven gypsies paper I have in my shop. Chicken tag, extra journaling, and then I love this. I just I think I got that off Pinterest. And this is just a little mason jar and a scripture. Love, love, love the chicken wire paper. And there's a fabric flip, and it's got a little collage at the top. Dick and Jerry page, not Dick and Jerry, Alice and Jerry. But it does feature Dick and Jane, so. This can be used as a tuck. I love, love, love this paper. I love this book. It's so pretty. It has such pretty colors in it. This is from my Seven Gypsies papers in the shop. This I love. Cute little children's envelope. I think we made this together on video. And then I just have it clipped on with this cute little paper clip. And it's just got a scripture in there. A little scripture in there. Well, I know this is two pages. <laughs> there we go. I love the colors in this book. That's just a little tuck with a scripture in it. This is just a little, um, it's just a journal card that's folded over the page. Cute little notebook, scripture, one of my John Deere cards, and then the little pig memo sheet. This is a um, Alice and Jerry pocket. I think this is, um, it's either Tsunami Rose or Nevermore. I think it's Nevermore Creations. It's one of the two. Journal card, index card with lace, and then love, love, love that paper. Love the cow. Love that. And scripture. There's a floating pocket. She can put that anywhere she wants to. And this, I just stuffed a bunch of extra of the paper, and then it's got a chicken tag in the pocket so this actually is two pockets there's a pocket in the front and then a pocket behind and this has extra papers too and then i put the little cow tag Edith holden love this paper too i love how vintage this book is this is one of my favorites that I've found so far. And I have another one that's similar to it. This is a Alice and Jerry pocket with a little booklet, flash card, and some index card, a little tag, just some extra stuff. But I have um, another one that is similar to it. This is some of, some of my Seven Gypsies paper. This is one of the ones that I cut apart. And that's the back of it with the florals. This has just got a little index card and then a little rooster. I love, love, love this paper. Super pretty. I love the milk bottle tops. I am just so in. I would love to find another couple of these books. There's some uh, a Rita flip with a couple of cards. That's from my Seven Gypsy stuff love the cow pocket and then it's just got a little um, quote and it has this really cool um, die cut that my friend sent me with the little cow journal card vintage flash card 
I've glued it in there. <laughs> Extra journaling. And then one of my John Deere cards. And there's the center of that signature. Here's a fabric flip with the collage at the top. Love, love, love. These are my favorite fabrics, I think. Bingo card. That's from Seven Gypsies. And then index card with lace sewn down it. A little chicken. And then this. This. <laughs> These are some little memo pads with the mason jars on them. And some pretty little paper that my friend sent me and a scripture. There's the other side of my Seven Gypsies paper. Love, love, love this paper. This comes from Seven Gypsies as well. So does this. Another one of those little books. Edith Holden. I don't know if you can tell, but this has trucks on it. Like the old vintage looking trucks. Can you see those? Love it. And then that is the end of that one. So those are uh, the little golden books and um, little chicky book that ha that were ordered um, from from you guys from uh, the other video. So, anyways, I hope you liked it. If you like it, hit like, hit subscribe, uh, share it with your friends. I can't tie this bow now. I've messed it up. Anyways, hit like and subscribe and leave me any comments or questions below. And you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. Big hugs.